Hey, this is Paul South P24 from Instagram and YouTube. I'm back with another custom tutorial. This one, it's gonna be an easy one. I'll show you how to bring a little diversity to your new Endor Rebel Commandos. It should be a quick one, so let's get into it. The new 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi Rebel Commando from Hasbro. It's a great new Black Series figure with a lot of wonderful accessories, including the ability to swap faces. But once again, Hasbro missed the boat on giving us an option for a more diverse looking character. But we'll fix that here today. I'm going to be using a fin for this tutorial, but you can use any character you want. The first step is to heat up both the parts with some boiling water just to soften up the plastic. You're also going to want to swap out the neck or paint it, so let's get that out as well. So for this basic process, I'm using a sharp knife and I'm just cutting away pieces of the face. You want to go slowly, you don't want to cut away too much. This is just the first step to get the basic fit. And then once I'm happy with that, then I'll move over to the Dremel and start removing material from behind the face to get a tighter fit to the helmet. And as always, just go slowly. Uh, it's very easy for that knife to slip and you don't want to cut yourself. All right, as I move over to the Dremel, it's just about taking away enough plastic from behind the face so that it's gonna sit flush up against the helmet piece. Um, of course, you don't wanna go too far and damage it, so just kinda keep testing it. And a key thing is to have it so that the, the cheeks, the skin of the cheeks, rest tight against those ear flaps. You don't wanna see any big gaps. For the neck, you have a few options. I'm choosing to swap out one with the skin tone that matches, but you could also paint the original one or you could dye the original one to match. If you were an absolute custom ninja, I'm sure you could cut away the plastic behind the new face so that it could fit into that square peg and make it swappable. I'm going with a permanent solution. So I use some Gorilla Gel glue. And then the key thing is if you're gonna glue it, make sure you put a ton of pressure once you have the fit there because you don't wanna get any of those gaps that I mentioned before. There we go. As a final optional step, I've decided to put a little bit of paint on this guy just to give him a five o'clock shadow, make him look more realistic. And let's get this guy back onto the body. You can see that with the neck that I'm using, I still have a really nice range of articulation and movement so I can get all kinds of nice poses. All right, now I'm all set with some nice looking diverse set of Rebel Commandos. Um, this will be a great addition to your collection, a pretty easy project, so hope you found this useful. If you got any questions, feel free to hit me up here on YouTube or always on Instagram. Uh, always happy to help out. And uh, as always, I'll leave you with uh, a few toy photography shots. All right, thanks for uh, tuning in, and I'll see you next time.